you my friend you are a hero if you have made it this far through the gaussian elimination method the partial pivoting the dualitos method the Krauss decomposition the chalinski decomposition the grand smith autonormalization and finally the qr decomposition if you have made it this far you are a hero and you did it so let's simplify solve the matrix a x and b using the qr decomposition method now when it comes to the qr decomposition method remember when we're doing the grand smith autonormalization we were given a matrix a and we're supposed to find a set of autonormal vectors e1 e2 and e3 for q and then r an upper triangular matrix so in order to solve any question in qr decomposition you must first use the grand smith autonormalization in case you missed it check it out in the comment section sorry in the description or go to my playlist and then check out how to use the grand smith autonormalization to decompose a matrix A into Q and R, where Q is the set of autonormal vectors E1, E2, and E3, and R is an upper triangular matrix. So, using the Grand Smith autonormalization to decompose A, this matrix A, into QR, we are going to get this to be our Q and then this to be our R. So, remember, the Grand Smith autonormalization is a whole process on its own. That is why I recommend if you haven't watched that video yet, go back and watch it and know how we got our E1, E2, E3, and then our upper triangular matrix R. Alright, so now that we know that our matrix A is equal to this decomposed form Q and then R, then we can see that AX is equal to B from the, from the question. We know AX is equal to B. And since we have decomposed A into QR, then we can say that QR X equals B. Since A is the same as QR, or since A equals QR, then we can say QR X equals B. Now, knowing QR equals B, and we wanting to find the value of X, that is X1, X2, and X3, we can, divide, we can divide both sides of the equation by Q right so you're going to get qrx equals b now dividing both sides by q we are going to have our rx equals 1 on q times b remember 1 on q is the same as the inverse of q right that is q to the power negative 1b so finally you must always note or remember that a matrix is orthogonal if it's inverse matrix is equal to its transpose matrix so again a matrix is orthogonal if the inverse of it is equal to the transpose of it so in this case we can see that this q to the power negative one or the inverse of q is the same as the transpose of q so that's why we conclude that rx equals q transpose times b because for orthogonal matrices, their inverse is the same as their transpose. So finally, our final equation to solve this problem is Rx equals Q transpose times B. Now, we know the value for R using the Grand Smith autonormalization. We know the value for Q also from the Grand Smith autonormalization. And we know the value for B from the question meaning we can find the values of x so the only thing we'll have to worry about or we have to do is to change the value of q to the transpose of q and we know how to do that so how do we do that we have our rx here equals q transpose times b now how do we get a transpose of q we come back to the q here so what we're going to do is that we are going to interchange the values now for a transpose, the main diagonal of the matrix remains the same. Remember, when you are doing your transpose, the main diagonal remains the same for the Q. 
Now we are going to interchange this 0 0.60386 with negative 0 0.30151. We are going to interchange them for our kill metrics. Then next, we are going to interchange the negative 0 0.73786 this year with the 0 0.90453. We are going to interchange their positions. And then lastly, we are going to interchange the 0 0.52705 with 0 0.063564 so we're going to interchange these two values also to get our kill transpose nice so now that we have our kill transpose we have our r we have our x and we have our b now we can simplify the right side of this equation how do we simplify it this is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is a 3 by 1 matrix so what we're going to do is that we are going to take the one here and multiply it by everything in the first column of the kill transpose. Take this zero here, multiply it by everything in the second column of the kill transpose. Then take the four and then multiply it by everything in the third column of the kill transpose. And after that, we are going to add the results. So when we add the result, this is what we are going to get. So the Rx will remain the same. And then you can see that the right side of the equation has been simplified to this form. So if you do the you can do the computations on your calculator 1 times 0 0.30151 minus 0 0.30151 times 0 this 0 plus 4 times 0 0.90453 you are going to get this value here which is 3.9196 and the same happens for the rest of them so you are going to get this on your right side of the equation now looking at what we have here you can see that there are more zeros down here than on top, meaning we can find the values of x using the back substitution. So using the back substitution, we can find the values for x3, x2, and x1. So from here, we can say that 0 0.94868 x3 equals 0 0.9487. And if we do our computations, we get x3 to be 1. Now since we know x3 to be 1, we can find for x2. So a level up, we take 2.8604x2 plus 3.7185x3 equals 0 0.851. And if we put our values in, we can get the value for x2 to be negative 1. So let's take it from there. So the first one, we had x3 to be 1. And then when we took the x2, we had x2 to be negative 2.86 over 2.86, which gives us negative 1. So x2 is negative 1. Now having x2 and x3, we can find for x1. So 3.3166 plus 4.2212 x2, which we know to be negative 1, plus 4.2842 x3. And we know x3 to also be 1, equals 3.9196. And then when we do our computations, we are going to get x1 also to be 1. So we have found all the values for x. So again, always remember friends that whenever we are using the QR decomposition, you must first use the grand smith auto normalization to find the decomposed Q and R, where Q is a set of orthonormal vectors E1, E2, and E3, and R is an upper triangular matrix. And then having your Q and then your R, you can go ahead to use the QR decomposition with the formula Rx equals the transpose of Q times B. And then from there, you can find your values for X. All right, friends. So I am glad you have stuck around from the Gaussian elimination method, the partial pivoting, the dual details method, the Krauss decomposition, the Cholesky decomposition, the Grand Smith auto normalization, and then the QR decomposition. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section and also don't forget to like and subscribe. There is more to come on Dennis Simplifies. Until next time, a party.